What is up, everyone? Xander here, and today, I have something very cool for you guys. Now, I know I look like shit again. Don't judge me. But anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you guys an exposed module called Snap Tools. Now, notice how I said exposed module. So basically, unfortunately, for those who are not rooted, you cannot get this. So if you want to get this, you're going to need to be rooted. And if you don't know how to root, Google is your friend. Now, before you go and install Exposed, if you don't already have it, um, there are some things you should make sure of beforehand. Uh, for one thing, make sure that you are on the correct version for Snap Tools, which which is 10.12.1.0. Anything higher than that will not work. Now, I know you that basically means you have to downgrade your Snapchat, um, but the Snap Tools is still being updated, so they will get you will get support for higher versions of Snapchat eventually. But for now, you're going to have to downgrade to 10.12.1.0. Another thing you should make sure of before you install Exposed is that you're signed into Snapchat. Because if uh, Snapchat detects Exposed, then you will not be able to um, log in. Now, if you're on Magisk, you can just use Magisk Hide with Exposed uninstalled so that you can log into Snapchat. And if you're on Super User, I mean, Super SU, uh, I think you can use SU Hide. To hide root um but this has to be done before you install exposed so if you have exposed installed you're gonna have to uninstall it again and then reinstall it after you sign in now if you want to know how to install exposed um i have two videos up uh one for android 5.0 to 6.0 and then one for nougat um official exposed for nougat has been released so my my nougat video is kind of outdated but the process of installing Exposed is the exact same. So basically you get the Exposed file, or zip, flash it via your recovery, and you're good to go. But anyway, check out those two videos, whichever one, they both have the same exact steps. And I'll put the link to official Nougat Exposed uh, in the description. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this shit. So this is Snap Tools. Um, I know it says module inactive. It actually is active. Uh, there's a reason for that, but um, that's besides the point. Anyway, so this is Snap Tools. Uh, well, this is the home screen of Snap Tools. Uh, it's gonna ask you to log in to your Google account, and there's a very specific reason for that. So, if you go to Pack Manager, Snap Tools. Uh, the way Snap Tools works is it has packs. Uh, there's the basic pack and the premium pack. So the premium pack gives you extra features, um, but it costs money. So if you want those extra features, you're gonna have to pay for the premium I think it's like five bucks or three it's not very expensive but um I currently have the, the basic pack um so premium pack gets extra features as well as um su uh, support for higher versions of snapchat um but anyway before you go and ask questions in the comments or message me on kick asking specific questions about this module I advise everyone to join the snap tools discord because they have a frequently asked questions section. So most, I mean, some common questions will be answered there, as well as you can ask the, the devs themselves on their Discord about specific things. So don't come to me about any issues you have with Snap Tools. Join their Discord. If you don't have Discord, make one, then join it, and ask it there. But anyway, basic pack. I'll show you what the basic pack does. I can't show you what premium does specifically because I don't have it. But uh, basically, with uh, basic pack, you can save snaps automatically. Um, so once you open a snap, it'll automatically get saved into your gallery. Uh, this goes for uh, story snaps as well. And it also goes for snaps that are sent within the chat. Like the chat uh, window or whatever. The one where you use the text and stuff. You get what I mean. Uh, you can save chats, so chats don't disappear, you know, whoops, basically it explains it right here, basically, so you collect all chats and allow you to read, read them with the SnapTools app, it also provides the option to automatically save messages within Snapchat, so there you go, you can remove the snap timer, um, you can sc bypass screenshots, so when you screenshot a snap, it won't send a notification to the other person, so they won't know you screenshot. Uh, I haven't tested this one myself, basically because I'm kind of paranoid, <laughs> but um, 
I mean, I could just test it on myself, but you know, whatever. And then unlimited viewing. Self-explanatory, unlimited viewing time. So, that's basically all there is in the basic pack. You can buy the premium pack, like I said. It's three bucks. So it's not five bucks, I was wrong. Three bucks. So the way the premium pack works is you buy the pack for the specific version of Snapchat you want to use. And then each time it's uh each time a new version comes out for a new newer version of Snapchat. Each time support for a new version of Snapchat comes out, you're gonna have to rebuy the premium pack. Um for that new version of Snapchat. So that's basically how it works. You don't have to do this, uh, the premium, maybe the basic pack works just fine, but some differences between, uh, premium pack, for one thing, saving, uh, you can't, for with the premium pack, you can choose to manually save a snap rather than it saving automatically, so that's one thing. Though you can just screenshot manually the snap that you want to save, but, uh, you won't be able to do that for video snaps. Video chat, video snaps also get saved, by the way, automatically. Um, but yeah, there are some other differences you guys can check out there. The differences are also on Discord, so you guys can check it out there. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys that it actually works. So, there you go. So I'm going to open a random snap. Alright, so as you can see, there's a little green dot at the bottom left of the screen. That basically means that um, the snap is saved. And then you can check it in the gallery and stuff like that. But that's basically how it works. This also works for video snaps, like I said. So, um, let's see if he has his video snap. There you go. Bottom green, and bottom left green thing. So it's saved. Um, Alright, so as you can see, uh, chats from September were saved. So basically, chats also saved. That's basically it. I just wanted to show you guys that it works. And yeah, I don't know if I should test. I'll test the, the screenshot feature. So I'll just send a snap to myself. Alright, so I'm going to view it. Screenshot. Nothing. No notification. So, screenshotting does work. Uh, even if you send a snap to yourself, normally you would still get the notification that you screenshot. But I didn't get it, so that basically proves that it works. Um, so yeah, that's Snap Tools. Uh, like I said, you need to be rooted, unfortunately, for those that aren't rooted. Um, so this isn't 100% a Casper alternative. Well, it is a Casper alternative, but only for those who are rooted. So if you're not rooted, unfortunately, you're out of luck. Um, but you still can use the methods I uh, mentioned in the last Snapchat video, which is how to save snaps anonymously using screen recorders and airplane mode, stuff like that. But um, other than that, that's Snap Tools. So, links to everything will, that you will need will be in the description below. Uh, remember to join their Discord. The link to their Discord will be in the description as well. Don't come to me for uh, any issues you have in terms of snap tools. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys found this useful. I know I did. Um, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.